Hi guys and uh, welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at solving word problems involving linear or quadratic equations, which is point number four from our work schedule on algebra part three. The first question that we're going to be looking at is from the DBE November 2015 paper one and it reads as follows. Mary gave one third of her money to Azim and one fifth of her money to Alberto. Alberto received 28 rand less than Azim. How much money did Mary have originally? So we start off this question by letting the amount that Mary had equals to X. So the amount that Mary had, we're going to let it equals to X. And we're going to formulate an equation with L2 and with Nazim. So that's going to be X over 3 or 1 over 3X and one fifth of our money to L2. So that's X over 5 or you can write it as 1 over 5x. But it goes on to say that El Huerto received 28 rand less than Nazim. So if we have to look at El Huerto equals to Nazim, let's formulate an equation with what we have. So therefore, how much did El Huerto? El Huerto is now going to have, what's this here? x over 5. So we can say x over 5 plus 28 is going to equal to the amount that Nazim has which is x over 3. So now you have an equation left hand side, which is now equal to the right hand side. Let's go through it one more time. Mary gave one third of her money to Nazim, therefore that's x over 3 or 1 over 3x, and one fifth of her money to Alvetu. So therefore Alvetu is going to have x over 5 or 1 over 5x. Remember that we're letting the amount that Mary originally had equals to x. Now to formulate an equation, remember it says El Huerto received 28 and less than Nazim. So therefore, it's now going to be El Huerto, which is on the side, the left hand side. Remember that she received 28 and less than Nazim. So therefore it's going to be X over 5, which is the amount that El Huerto received, plus 28 rand, will equal to the amount that Nazim receives. Now we can solve this equation. Alright, so therefore now this is an equation dealing with fractions. So therefore I'm going to put 28 over 1. And what is, is my lowest common denominator here? Because remember that when I'm solving an equation with fractions, I need to multiply across by the LCD. So the LCD is going to be 3 times 5, which is 15. So it's going to be 15 times x over 5. So 15 over 1 times that. So 5 goes there once. 5 goes there. 3, 3 times x is so we get 3x there. 28 times 15. So 28 times 15. Right, remember that you can use long multiplication if you're not allowed to use the calculator, or you can just use your calculator. 28 times 15 equals to 420. That's plus 420 equals to so that's times 15 over 1 there. 3 goes there once, 3 goes there 5, uh, 3 goes there 5 times, so x times 5 is 5x. So now if we do the maths here, remember you'll take this 3x to the right hand side, it becomes negative 3x, 5x minus 3x is 2x, equals to 420. Therefore now, if I divide both sides by 2, therefore x is going to equal to so 420 divided by 2 equals to 210 there. So what can we conclude? We can conclude that Mary has or had 210 there originally. Okay, let's look at another question. The next question that we're going to look at is from the DBE November 2017 paper 1. It says Tabello is currently four times as old as his daughter, Linda. Six years from now, Tabelo will be three times as old as Linda. Calculate Linda's age currently. So in an age problem like this, you want to let the smaller age equals to X. The smaller person's age equals to X. So Tabelo is four times as old as his daughter. So this is father, that's daughter. So we're going to let the daughter's age equals to X. Okay. But probably, it's, right, you can construct a table here. Right? So you can actually now firstly say let... 
Linda's age equals to X. And then we can just write here, Tabello. And we can write Linda. Okay, so if Linda's age is now going to equals to X, then they say that currently Tabello is four times as old as his daughter. So he's going to be 4X. So that's going to be 4X, right? So remember now that this is now. But then it says that in six years from now, Tabello will be three times as old as Linda. So six years from now. So let's now look at what happens six years from now. So in six years from now, Tabello is going to be 4x plus 6. So that's Tabello. And Linda is now going to equal to 6x uh, plus 6. Let's write that x plus 6. So six years from now, Tabello will be three times as old as Linda. So if we have to have an equation now, so what's that going to be? It's going to be as follows Tabello and Linda. What does it say? Tabello will be three times as old as Linda. So Tabello's age will equal to three times Linda's age. So therefore, we can now have the following equation to solve. We can say 4x plus 6 equals to 3 into x plus 6. And let's solve this equation. 4x plus 6 equals to 3x plus 18. So therefore, if I take this 3x to the left-hand side, 4x minus 3x is x. And 18 minus 6 is going to be 12. <clears throat> so therefore, Linda's age currently will be 12 years old. Therefore, Linda's age equals to 12 years. Okay, so learn is the important thing is understanding equations. Left hand side must equal to right hand side. Let the smaller quantity equals to x. These are the takeaways from today's lesson. And you can formulate your equation to solve. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe to JL Maths. You can like my Facebook page, Justin Lazarus Mathematics. You can watch all videos for free on my website, which is jlmaths.com. And I'll catch you in the next video.